Hello and welcome to the in-depth theory section of Drishti IAS. I am Aisha Singh and in today's video we will be discussing the topic of why did North India fog so heavily? As the winters are going on, the cold wave is breezing through the North India belt. So there is a problem which the people of North India is suffering and that is the problem of fog because because of fog what becomes is low visibility that the visibility of any place becomes very low so let's see what all we will be discussing first we'll be looking at the news then what is fog types of fog and in the end prelims mcq topic is of relevance from general studies paper one that is geography phenomena you should be able to know that how the formation of fog takes place now the news talks about why did north india fog so heavily fog and what are the reasons that north india fog so heavily so what is happening as of now is that fog is happening at all the places and because of which the trains are getting delayed the flights are not able to take off and the roads are running very very slow because the visibility is very low during the fog and these are the pictures which you must be very prone to seeing nowadays and especially during the winter time so what has happened is the winter has tightened its grip on the north india belt especially the states of uttar pradesh bihar punjab rajasthan madhya pradesh also the northern madhya pradesh himachal pradesh uttarakhand and a thick blanket of fog has descended on several states in the last days that is the last week of 2023 and the and since then till now so the weather reports has said that that the northern states are seeing a temperature of around 6 to 9 degrees and because of which the visibility has been reduced to very low to as low as 50 meters and even lower than that now most important we will be knowing about what is fog and how the formation of fog takes place so first of all fog is a common weather phenomena and it is you can say a type of cloud it is just that the formation of cloud takes place at a very higher altitude in the atmosphere while the formation of fog takes place very close to the ground so it is a collection of droplets of water which is produced when evaporation takes place evaporation of water takes place and then it cooled down and then the process of condensation takes place so i'll be telling you in details but you should be able to know about the two processes which are, is involved in the formation of fog and that is evaporation and second which is condensation so what happens first of all is see if we talk about a normal situation if this is ground or if this is ocean then this is comparatively warm as compared to the air which is present at a higher altitude i think now it would be more visible so this air will be colder as the altitude also increases so because this air is warmer this air or this water evaporates and when it evaporates and what happens in the process of evaporation is that the liquid turns into vapor phase that is the liquid turns into gas like for example the water droplets will turn into water vapors so when water droplets turn into water vapor they go into the higher altitude and then they they go into the higher altitude and they get they get suspended there and till the time on the till the time they are getting suspended with more and more moisture and humid humidity and more and more water vapor because after the process of evaporation is coming up there is a water retention capacity of the water droplets and till the time dew point is reached that is the saturation point of the holding capacity of the water vapor now when that saturation point reaches and after that saturation point the process of condensation takes place that is the process of condensation now what is the process of condensation condensation is opposite of evaporation evaporation was water droplet was turning into water vapor that is liquid into gaseous stage this was evaporation now condensation condensation is water vapor turning into water droplets that is gaseous state turning into liquid stage now what happens is that when the retention capacity of the water droplets get overwhelmed 
then because of the condensation those water droplets comes down in the form and then they get suspended with the particles which are suspended into the atmosphere that is air as air is not a homogeneous mixture it is a heterogeneous mixture so there are dust particles there are water vapor there are different types of gases like nitrogen carbon dioxide oxygen so the water vapor which comes down or the water droplets which comes down they get suspended with these dust particles into the atmosphere and then this is how the formation of fog takes place and now the point that why north india is very prone to the formation of fog is that the conditions which are very suitable for the formation of fog is so the conditions which are suitable for the formation of fog is first of all low temperature then high moisture presence of water vapor and low wind speed and all these conditions are prevalent during the season of winters during summers these conditions are not prevalent they are prevalent in the time of winters because low temperature high moisture presence of water vapor and low wind speed these are the conditions of the winters not summers that is why during summers the fog does not take place and during fin winters winter season the fog is so commonly seen so this is the process of formation of fog as it is a type of cloud i have told you about the conditions which are required for the formation of fog two processes which are involved in the formation of fog fog that is condensation and evaporation now about the types of fog that is radiation fog and advectional fog now what is radiation fog radiation fog results from radiation that is cooling of the ground and adjacent air now what happens is like this is a cloud this is a ground now when the ground is cooling of the ground is taking place now this is cooling while the places above it has a different temperature so there is a temperature difference between the above area and the ground so because of the temperature difference and that is why the fog formation fog takes place and then come the advectional fog now what happens in the advectional fog is it is formed by condensation of warm air when it moves horizontally over the cold surface now what happens is that below is cold surface what is moving horizontally above is is the warm air now when warm air and cold air comes in contact with each other and because of the temperature difference the formation of fog takes place and when we talk about the frontal or the precipitation fog it is also very uh, similar to the advectional fog so it is basically about the radiation fog and the advectional fog so this was about that the reason that why the north india is so prone to the formation of fog now in the end of prelims mcq and people need to tell me the answer in the comment section which among the following conditions are required for the formation of fog water vapor low temperature high wind speed now you have to talk about the correct statement and the codes given are 1 and 2 only 1 and 3 only 2 and 3 only or 1 2 and 3 so as i have discussed this or uh, this question so give me the answer in the comment section and that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading and keep writing